The issue with using a calculator is to look out for hidden operations that don't, don't appear really obvious. This one is a classic. 4 plus 2 divided by 3. This line, which separates the numerator and denominator in a fraction, is called the vinculum. And it acts as a bracket. So what this is telling us is that we have 4 plus 2 as a separate entity and then it's divided by 3 or if you like it's divided by 3 whichever way and then we get out which as everyone will know is the answer 4 plus 2 is 6 6 divided by 3 is 2 if you put this in the calculator as you say it you would put in 4 plus 2 divided by 3 in the calculator, because multiplication and division comes before addition, you would be doing this first. So you'd have 4 plus 2 thirds, which is 4 and 2 thirds, not 2. Wrong. Okay, you've got to look out for this hidden bracket. Okay, and it crops up in the opposite way as well. If we had uh, 12, 12 divided by... Uh, 3 times 2, or 3 plus 2, either way, it doesn't matter. Actually, we'll make it 3 plus, we'll make it 4 plus 2. And common sense would tell us that's 12 divided by 6, and the answer is 2. If you put it in your calculator as you read it, you would be putting in 12 divided by 4 plus 2. And of course you'd get 5. 12 divided by 4 is 3, plus 2 is 5, wrong. So you have to have 12 divided by bracket 4 plus 2. Okay? This is your bracket, your hidden bracket. 4 plus 2 is 6, 12 divided by 6 is 2, so that's our correct answer. Okay? So look out for this. Another one that's similar with a hidden bracket is the square root. Now if you go to a good quality calculator and you want the square root of 36, you press the square root button, straight away it's going to give you a bracket. Now if you want the square root of 36, you don't even have to close off the bracket, it'll give you an answer of 6. But if you want the square root of 9 plus 16, your calculator will give you this bracket. Okay? So again, if that's all you need to do, you don't need to close off the bracket but it's not a bad habit to get into. The calculator will do 9 plus 16 is 25, the square root of 25 is 5. To be 100% sure, you would do that. If you've got this one, the square root of 9 plus 16 minus 10, and the calculator will give you your starting bracket, here you definitely must put in your closed bracket so that the square root knows that this is the part that you're going to take the square root and then you're going to subtract 10. So here we'll get 9 plus 16 is 25, square root of 25 is 5, minus 10, negative 5. Okay? If you didn't put in your closed bracket, you'd get the square root of 9 plus 16 minus 10, which would be the square root of 15, which would be, what, 3 point something, 3 point... 9 something or other, because it's close to 16, so it's close to 4. Okay, hidden brackets, very important. Let's do another one, similar to a question that appeared on a recent exam, and it was something like 25 plus the square root of 8 squared minus 6 squared, all divided by 3. Okay? You can do that in one go in your calculator, but remember this is a bracket. So if you're going to do it in one go, you've got to start with a bracket. 25 plus the square root of, and you'll have a bracket in there, 8 squared minus 6 squared. Because we are then got to divide by 3, we're going to close off that bracket. Then we're going to close off this bracket, and then we're going to divide by 3. No brackets here, but plenty of brackets here, okay? And they're hidden brackets, the bracket that's inside that square root sign and the bracket that occurs because of the vinculum. Okay, let's try and do it. 
8, 6, uh, 8 squared is 64, 6 squared is 36, so that will be 28 I think, won't it? 64 minus 36, Six, we are 28, so 25 plus the square root of 28, which is not very clever, divided by 3. This is somewhere a bit more than 5, so this is a little bit more than 30, so our answer is going to be a little bit more than 10. Okay? You put that in the calculator as you say it. 25 plus the square root of 8 squared minus 6 squared divided by 3 is going to be one awful mess. The, cal the calculator is going to finish the square root at that point there because it won't incorporate this. So the square root of 8 squared is 8. 25 plus 8 is 33. 33 minus 36 is negative 3. Divided by 3 is negative 1. A long way away from 10. Okay? So hidden brackets are really important things to look out for.